again, my name's Gabe Zona. This is the 8th of February, 2019. Just read an article on Politico, written by uh, Elena Johnson, published on the 7th of February. Title, Kushner to visit Middle East for peace plan push. The president's son-in-law will reveal significant details of the economic portion of the Trump administration's Middle East peace plan. Jared Kushner will crisscross the Middle East later this month, seeking buy-in for his peace plan from leaders throughout the region. During the trip, the president's son-in-law will be the first time share significant details of the economic portion of the Trump administration's Middle East plan whose development he has spent nearly two years overseeing. He should have spent a little bit of time looking into Wahhabism, but uh, it is what it is. You know? If he would have done that, he probably wouldn't be going on this trip. Tell me if you notice anything unusual towards the end of this. Hmm. Jared is going to present the economic plan to the region. The economic plan only works if the region supports it, a senior administration official said Tuesday. We understand that if the political aspect of it is not solid, the economic aspect is meaningless. But at the same time, the political aspect will not succeed without a proper economic plan. The White House is preparing to release a finalized plan for a negotiated solution between Israel and the Palestinians in the coming months. Administration officials said, though they stressed they are unlikely to do so before Israeli's election scheduled for April the 9th. You remember the previous elections when Obama spent who knows how many hundreds of thousand dollars trying to get Netanyahu thrown out? The economic portion of the plan includes a package of public and private sector investments in all sectors of the Palestinian economy. What economy? Kushner's week-long trip, which begins the last week in February, will include stops in Oman, Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, and the United Arab Emirates. All of those are devout Wahhabist followers of Islam. I don't understand how Kushner is so stupid. He doesn't understand that they cut his throat if they could. Joining him will be Jason Greenblatt, the President's Middle East envoy, the State Department's Special Representative for Iran, Brian Hook, the Deputy Assistant to the President, Avi Berkowitz. The trip was initially scheduled for January, but was pushed back because of the government shutdown, officials said. The administration is working to add two additional stops to the trip, but the itinerary will not include Israel or the Palestinian territories, officials said. Huh? The White House has tightly held details of the peace plan. How is that possible? They can't hold details of anything with all the leaks, which many Middle Eastern officials thought might be unveiled last year. President Donald Trump said in late September of last year that the plan would be released within four months, a timeline that proved optimistic. President Trump also said that we know the truth about the JFK assassination, didn't he? Huh? Didn't he also tell us that he's going to release the information of those in Congress that caused the expenditure of around $17 million to keep folks silent from revealing their sexual harassments? Huh? Didn't he say he was going to release that too? Didn't I say that was required prior to the midterms? But Trump wasn't listening to my videos. Part of this is intended to show they're really serious about presenting something, said Dennis Ross, a veteran peace process negotiator. I think the key is going to be Arab leaders being persuaded that the overall deal, not just the economic side, but the political side looks credible to them. The incentives would have to overcome Palestinians' hostility to Trump's overtures, particularly since the Trump administration last year moved the American embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. 
which the Palestinians do not recognize as Israel's capital. The White House also evicted the Palestinian Liberation Authority from its office in Washington, D.C. last year as retribution for the Palestinians' refusal to enter into talks with the Israelis. As a result, the Trump administration currently has no formal relationship with the Palestinian leaders. Administration officials said the White House has informally consulted with several Palestinians to solicit their views, but conceded that none have a direct line to Palestinian Authority President Mohammed Abbas, who has called Trump's team too biased towards Israel to be a credible peace broker. White House officials nonetheless said they hope Abbas will come to the table to discuss the plan. Okay, so Jared's not going to go to Israel, and he's not going to go visit the Palestinians, but he's going everywhere else. And where he's going, the many followers of Wahhabism. If regional leaders think our ideas offer a transformative vision for the Palestinians, for integrating the Palestinians and Israel into the region, and if they agree to financially support our plan, that would be a success, said a senior administration official. Like I said, Kushner doesn't know what the hell he's doing. Kushner is also set to travel to U.S. hosted security conference in Warsaw, Poland next week, where he is scheduled to sit down with World Economic Forum President Borg Brand and field questions on the peace plan. The White House official said he is unlikely to divulge any details. All right, so here you got a kid who married his daughter, Trump's daughter, Ivanka. Kushner's father served some time in prison. I mean, this whole thing is nuts. Absolutely nuts. This guy is Jewish, and he doesn't understand how Wasabi Muslims feel about infidels. Anybody that isn't a follower of Wahhabism, totally nuts. But hey, it is what it is. I'll attach the link. You might want to repost this in your social media accounts. You might want to pass it along to like-minded friends. Thanks for listening.